So I got the SanDisk Ultra Micro SD card. Um, I wanted to increase the storage on my phone, so I got the 256 gigabyte one. Um, yeah, I wanted to um, be able to store more videos on my phone since I'm now vlogging more. Um, so yeah, it's, hopefully this works. And uh, supposedly it actually takes better photos and better pho uh, videos. So <laughs> let's see how this works. <laughs> Mimi, I'm going to eat it. It's hot. I love pistachio ice cream. Looks so good. Chai chica saya? Nay. Could be insanely better than having one big chest full of different types of stone. This will be my wood pod. My wood chest seems to get clogged more than anything else. It'll also probably be the largest of all the sections. There's eight types of wood. Making a chest for every wood item in the game is obviously going to take a while, so I still had to work on it day 1961. Halfway done with my wood by the end of the day, though. Part of the I'm so happy. Um my trainer brought senorita bread it pairs so well with milk oh, awesome thank you so much so if you've never had a habit i definitely recommend um i recommend just getting their regular cheeseburger but i re recommend the sourdough bread don't get it on the regular bun but get it on sourdough bread literally the best their fries are good um we bought the family plan or family meal um, so it comes with fries but I would rather eat their onion rings um, yeah the onion rings are really good and their ranch their ranch is wow amazing <laughs> but yeah we got habit um, since my brother is joining us for Christmas break um, we've been eating out more since he wants to eat out <laughs> at the places in California that he's missed um, so yeah so yeah really awesome food it's so good, guys. Definitely check out Habit. Cheers! <laughs> Yummy, mm. huh? <laughs> <laughs> My brother got me these flowers, these carnations, um, because he's known or he knows that I've been stressed at work. They're so pretty. I actually got it um, two days ago, um, but I just didn't, I forgot to film. Um, but yeah, I came home from work and they were just sitting on my vanity like this. Yeah, he's so sweet. Thank you, Johnny. No, of course, what really matters is the blame. Someone you can blame. Fine, that's the thing you enjoy, placing the blame. If that's the aim, give me the So I'm planning to dry these flowers before they wither, but they're so pretty so I don't know if I should start now or if I should wait until they become a little bit more, um, their petals become a little bit more withered, but we'll see. So 
with these flowers, which are the smaller vase, they will most likely go in the kitchen area, which is right here, and then um, the rest I will either dry or put them in the bigger vase and put them in my room. Okay, so here are the flowers in my room. I had to... Um, well, I don't think you can see it, but I put a rubber band around them because or else they just are too far apart since the mouth of this vase is super wide. Um, so I had to rubber band it. So it doesn't look great, but I didn't want to dry them yet because they're just so pretty. Um, yeah, way too pretty to start drying. So, yeah, so I just put it in my room. So one of my New Year's resolutions this year is to start a bullet journal, completely finish it by the end of December. So we'll see how that goes. But currently I am working on January, um, specifically the weekly spread for the third week of January. I'm putting down all these stickers. Um, the hardest part is actually taking off the back and peeling it from the film. But yeah, I'm just gonna speed up the video now. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. So today I decided to paint my nails and the first thing I always do is cut my cuticles. This tool is specifically for that. My mom actually got her cosmetology license a few years back and she had to learn how to prep the nail bed. So she bought a lot of tools that I wouldn't have bought for myself. So I'm super thankful for this because I only get my cuticles cut if I go to an actual salon to get my nails done. So doing it at home I actually feel like a professional. <laughs> And also, don't mind the background noise. I was watching a movie while I was painting my nails, so yeah, pay no mind to that. <laughs> First impressions, it's sheer. I don't know if you can see, but it's not opaque. So I think two coats for sure. 
but not a bad color. I love the shimmer. I think it's so pretty. I'm starting with my non-dominant hand first because this takes the longest. <laughs> So I finished painting both my hands. Definitely my dominant hand took less time. Oh my gosh, my hands look so chubby. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's focused, but here it is. So I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll start on my second coat and then I will be back. So I put on a light. I don't know if this is gonna help, but I put on my second coat. So as you can see, it's a lot darker. I guess you can see the shimmer more in the light, but yeah, I finished the second coat. I'm going to let this dry, um, and then I'm going to put the top coat on. Okay, so I want to show you how I put on my top coat. So when you put on top coat, you don't want to press it into the nail. It's slightly touching the top, but pretty much what you're doing is you're gliding the top coat on the top. Instead of like pressing down, just slightly over the top because you don't want to mess up the nail polish underneath. So I'm done with my top coat. Just let this dry and I'm done. Yay! I wanted to show you guys a really cute video of my dog. She's like a cat. She loves the sun. <laughs> and usually that blanket is on top to keep it warm, but she always kicks it off.